Hi, welcome to this small video dedicated to the uh, Grand Station software associated with the new Flying 3D X6 Plus. So, well, first of all, you will have to uh, remove the uh, camera module to uh, access to the USB port. So, you have to unscrew these two uh, uh, main screws there, okay, uh, attaching all also the landing gears to access to the uh, mini USB port. And you have to attach this cable without plugging to anything. So the first things, uh, the first time you will um, try to connect your uh, Flying 3D X, XX or X8 model, uh, you will need some drivers. So you will need some uh, basic uh, so-called STM uh, virtual COM port driver. So you just Google these two uh, names and two words, uh, STM VCP, and you will access to these web pages. And you have to download the last version, actually the 1.4.0, and you have to download it and to install it. But you have to know that, in fact, uh, just the uh, driver are copied over your system, but they are not installed. You have to uh, manually install uh, them. So how to proceed? Uh, you have without the first time without powering your um, lipo, just need to power uh, your uh, uh, USB cable, okay. And uh, after, uh, if you already uh, run the setup of the VCP driver, you probably have them installed in the program file. For me, I'm in 64 byte operating system, so in x86. And you have to go to STM Microelectronics and Software, okay, uh, Virtual Cub Port Driver, and upon to your uh, OS, Windows 7 Base 8. Uh, for example, uh, you have to uh, uh, manually drop install, okay, because on your uh, config system in the hardware device, you will have probably somewhere uh, a device, a new device with an exclamation point. So you have to, uh, for example, uh, if I'm dis displaying the um, all the hidden uh, features in the port, uh, port car, you will see uh, this guy with one of them with the uh, integration point, and you have to uh, install uh, manually the driver, okay, and select the uh, uh, .env or cat file associated with. So you have to browse until your Windows 7 or Windows 8 directory and select and it will install correctly your uh, VCP driver on your machine okay and it will be useful also for a lot of uh, flying controlling board so uh, if it is already done uh, you have to do it at least once uh, when is uh, the VCP driver is installed you have to uh, uh, go and use uh, the uh, flight tools.20 so okay so you have to download it in the flychart website and uh, actually uh, the uh, uh, hardware of the flying 3d is based on the new revision of the xx uh, board from uh, big shark fly sky okay and it's uh, the v2 revision okay and when you run the uh, ground station software the fly to v2.exe you run it okay so uh, actually uh, you got this uh, interfaces uh, you should see a, a power a green but you have to know that you will need to turn the LiPo so be sure okay uh, to disconnect first your USB okay uh, power your LiPo okay wait a few instants for example to hear the music of the ESC but it's not an obligation but it will take a couple of seconds, okay, uh, and to boot up completely, okay, you can hear the ESC, and you can now plug to your USB, and as you can see, you can have a green uh, connection here, and all the uh, settings now are available, so for example, the different pitch altitude values, they are the default values, uh, the type of frame is of course an X, uh, uh, type okay, uh, quad capture type, and here is the system already tuned some setting by default. It was the altitude uh, before engaging a return to home or landing, it's at 15 meter, I set to 10 meter only. And uh, well, I strongly advise to uncosh and check this one because when you know the uh, battery of the Flying 3D XX or XS Plus 
is a poor quality. Uh, it means that I don't think the battery uh, won't uh, survive uh, uh, to the end of the return to home procedure. So I strongly more advise to uh, automatically land where you are located when the uh, voltage alarm is warning. So and, and check this one. And uh, also, I also advise you to increase the distance up to. Uh, this is a geofence uh, parameter. So for example, up to 150 meter height and up to 1,000 meter of distance. Uh, you have the uh, different uh, setting for the uh, different uh, battery warning uh, voltage. The current one there is. Uh, okay, uh, this is the uh, default alarm voltage and the landing voltage where you you automatically landing. Uh, the end point of the transmitter actually set to 140 percent and the max uh, max uh, fly speed was originally set to eight meters per second. This is the uh, different uh, element of the uh, radio. So if you do the three-way mode of your basic flying 3D XS Plus radio, because you have one two-way switch and one three-way, so if you install a second three-way instead of the two one, you can probably also activate the uh, manual mode here, okay? Uh, and you have the uh, current version uh, of the firmware so you can see that the hardware is the version V2 of the flying control board Char XX. Okay, so this is why it's uh, much more compatible with the V2 branch of the firmware. Okay, associated with this flying tools um, 2.0. You have my current version of the firmware. So uh, and I think I got the last one, and the hardware revision test on one. So associated with that, I will so call the version 1.5. Uh, my current flight time and actually no SD information. Um, and here you can find the <coughs> actual data. One you can, uh, if I uh, plug my transmitter, I will be able to calibrate the transmitter and here I uh, can calibrate the gyroscope and, uh, and so on. Okay, so if you want to change the settings, you just need to press right, for example. Uh, let's test the, the motor one, you have to wrong press on the uh, right click okay to the uh, test motors and it should uh, activate normally okay I don't know why it is not working okay maybe is the the idle was okay I have to write it okay now it's working okay the idle was too low I set to a lower value, not enough fast to to to. to. Okay, I have to write again and test the motor. Now, okay, the idle was good, so I set to a very nominal value to idle very slowly. Okay, so as you can see, it's working. Okay, it was the uh, small demonstration how to uh, configure. First of all, you need to install the uh, STM uh, VCP driver. Okay, install it manually to your. Uh, or in the dedicated operating system, then I ran the Fly Tools 2.0 because the Flying 3D XX Plus is compatible with the V2 branch of the firmware and as said with you have this new revision of the Fly Tools, the Ground Station software version 2.0 but actually it's not yet possible, I'm not sure if one day it will be to run the uh, Mission Planner associated with this V2 branch. Thank you for watching, bye bye.